Clifford's First Snow Day by Norman Bridwell. I'm Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog Clifford. We love to play in the snow. I remember the first time Clifford saw snow. He was just a tiny puppy. It was his first winter. The snow had been falling all night long. In the morning, I got dressed to go outside. I said, Clifford, I have a surprise for you. He was surprised. Clifford had a little trouble walking in the snow. Then he found a way to keep up with me. We walked to the park. The kids were going down the hill on their sleds. I thought Clifford would enjoy a ride. I forgot he couldn't hold on to the sled. I had an idea. Now Clifford could slide down the hill too. Afterward, we went over to the pond. Skaters were whizzing by. Before I knew it, Clifford ran onto the ice. He spun round and around. I was scared. I couldn't reach him. Oh, no! I yelled, watch out for my puppy! That was close. I had to get Clifford out of there fast. Help! I called. But could the boys hear me? Hooray! My puppy was safe. We thanked the hockey player for his good deed. Then it was time to head back home. On the way, I saw my friend Tim. He was making a big snowman. He asked me to help him. Tim made the bottom part. And I made the middle. Then Tim rolled a smaller ball to make the snowman's head. I put the snowman's middle in place. And then I looked around for Clifford. He was nowhere to be seen. Where did he go? While Tim was putting on a cap on the snowman, I called and called for Clifford. We heard a sound. Hey, look, Tim said. The snowman's nose is moving. It was Clifford. Thank goodness I found him. That was enough snow for one day. We rushed home for some nice warm soup. My puppy's first snow day was quite an adventure. Snow days are even more fun now that Clifford has grown up. What a wonderful dog. The end. I hope you've enjoyed this story. Clifford's first snow day. That looks like so much fun. Playing with Clifford in the snow. And silly too. Silly Clifford getting stuck in a snowball made for a snowman's head. <laughs> now make sure you click that thumbs up button and show grandma how much you liked this Clifford book. Make sure you come back for more stories. Bye, Grandma.